Zlatan Ibrahimovic questioned Kylian Mbappe's decision to turn down Real Madrid in favor of staying at Paris Saint-Germain, and he asked his parents to remain silent. Ibrahimovic, a former PSG striker, shared his thoughts on Mbappe's decision to turn down a move to Real Madrid in favor of signing a new contract at the Parc des Princes. Mbappe is committed to his future with the French Ligue 1 champions until 2025 this summer, ending a long-running saga, but Ibrahimovic feels his career development would be better if he moved to the Santiago Bernabeu. He made the right choice for Paris, not for himself. Because he put himself in a situation where he was more important than the club. And the club gave him the key to that. But you are never bigger than a club. But, when a child becomes strong, he can easily earn money, the AC Milan striker told Canal Plus. So his parents became lawyers, agents, coaches. From one thing they became another. And, that's the problem. That's when you lose self-discipline and who you are. Today with this new generation, the parents, fathers, mothers you want, they think they have become stars. They talk in the newspapers. But who do you think you are? Shut up. It's up to your son, the player, to work and have discipline. Ibra added, Mbappe, as a person I don't know him very well. As a player, he is fantastic. But when you lose discipline, you lose your identity. There is a reason why Zidane is Zidane. Mbappe wants to emulate him? That he starts wanting to progress. No satisfied. Mbappe's future remains the subject of speculation despite his contract being extended. The striker has left the door open for a move to Madrid in the future and has seen the working relationship at PSG break down this season. The club went to great lengths to deny reports that Mbappe wanted to leave in January. Real Madrid qualified for the last 16 of the Champions League as winners of Group F after winning over Celtic in the final match of the group stage. Los Blancos managed to win over Celtic with a landslide score of 5-1 on the sixth matchday of Group F of the Champions League at the Santiago Bernabeu. This victory ensured Madrid's position at the top of Group F with a collection of 13 points, only one point adrift of RB Leipzig who was ranked second and also qualified for the round of 16. As group winners, Real Madrid will meet one of the other group runners-up in the Champions League, but will not meet RB Leipzig because both teams are in the same group. In UEFA regulations, the two teams that meet in the round of 16 cannot be fellow winners or group runners-up, and cannot come from the same group or country. Real Madrid will be the only Spanish representatives to qualify for the last 16, after Barcelona and Sevilla had to settle for playing in the Europa League, while Atletico Madrid are bottom of Group B. In the round of 16, there is a possibility of a reunion between Real Madrid coach Carlo Ancelotti and the team he has also worked for in the past, AC Milan as Group E runners-up. Rossoneri, so the club where Ancelotti achieved success in Europe's highest caste tournament both as a player and coach. As a player, Don Carlo, Ancelotti's call, was the key to Milan's success in winning two Champions League titles in 1989 and 1990, plus the Italian Serie A title in 1988. While coaching Milan for eight years starting in 2001, it was there that Carlo Ancelotti's name began to sound as one of the best coaches in the world. Ancelotti won the Champions League with AC Milan in the 2002-2003 season against Juventus in the final, and 2006-2007 against Liverpool in the final. In addition to Ancelotti's potential reunion, in the last 16 Real Madrid could also meet his opponent in the Champions League final last season, Liverpool who were runners-up in Group A. Although Liverpool are experiencing an unfavourable period in the domestic league, the performance of Jurgen Klopp's squad in the Champions League this season has been quite impressive. They have 15 points from six games, and have lost just once, but Liverpool lost on goal difference head-to-head -to, -head to Group A winners Napoli. Real Madrid will find out their opponents in the last 16 in the draw which will take place at UEFA headquarters in Nyon, Switzerland on Monday 7 November 2022.